Uncle children are massive fuckers. Mm -hmm. Trust no uncle under 30. Mm -hmm. Especially ones that try to make themselves look really old when they're probably only like, I don't know, 18 and just, I guess, blessed with the ability to grow really red facial hair. That uncle child has entirely too large of a beard. Ah, I ran it that time. Good. Sometimes fortune favors the bold. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, those bears are so dead. Once you get up into the higher end creatures, it becomes very expensive to try and kill them. Almost and to the point, often to the point where it would be easier to just dismiss and summon fresh ones if they're very bad libido. Look, look at that, we just drained all four of these stones to almost heal one bear. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do that, but they wouldn't be the same ones. They wouldn't be uh, Clark and Ethel here, they'd be someone else. And do you really want that? I don't think that's what Squir uh, Squirrely wants. Squirrely values his bears. Mm -hmm. Fine example of what happens when you don't maintain a steady hand. While I mean, using a pointer spell. that spell in particular is hostile in nature, so if you accidentally hit yourself with it, it is going to hit you. Yes. It is entirely possible to drop the fist on yourself. Mm -hmm. And we were relatively close to doing that last. Oh, God. That, that bear, bear was died. just defeated. By that, a spider. That, that's By poor. a small white spider. Alright, Clark, you're, you're just not deal doing it well anymore. Clark, you're drunk. Go home. After you lost Ethel, you just completely fell apart. Old suicide. Stop. Let's take a moment to consider the list. <laughs> Pick out some other opportunities, like, for example, wherever we have ogres. We have demons. Ah, each and every one of them has their own, uh... Little icon, that's cute. Yep. <laughs> Seven dogs. <laughs> Summon ogres. <laughs> Hello, Tina. <laughs> Oh, um... Keep in mind that many of these creatures are in fact not very durable compared to the things you will end up against. Rest in peace, By the time you can summon them. You hardly know me. Also, the developers preempted any thoughts of, hey, I'll summon a thing that drops equipment. You know, they will not drop items. What a goddamn shame that you can't have an unlimited number of useless-ass ogre axes. Don't if even someone sell. is willing to su suffer through creating enough ogre axes to get infinite money, then I think yeah, they really should. Yeah, to produce a decent amount of money. Then yeah, sure, give it to them. Yeah, they, they deserve it. They have no life. They have no style. They have no grace. This axe is completely garbage. Also, in the case of each spellcaster, remember that your your first spell you got is usually just still very useful. Mm -hmm. We'll give many opportunities to level it up, but you know, the damage remains a pure spell. Level it up. <laughs> and you know, it's auto targeting. So. Every so often, just having a cloud of fairies on you can make the difference. Makes I mean, I stand up by that in my everyday life. Sometimes just having a cloud of fairies around with you is just the last thing is the thing you need to get going in the day. No, bear, please calm down. From Wallace, this is not the time. You should you should look at Tony's example here. Wallace, come on. Look at how up and ready and to get at him that Tony is. Look at how lethargic Wallace is. Wallace, pull your pull your goddamn weight. Couldn't even slay that child before you did it. Or those bats.
He'll never make it on the outside. Not even close. Foolish bear. What would a bear know of Big B? What would Squirrely know of the economy? <laughs> no, Squirrely knows quite a lot about the economy. I mean, on his land, he owns, you know, a fair number of things. But probably the most important one is his Bitcoin mining rig. And his patch of strawberries. Have you ever found any reason whatsoever to put things on hunt? If you're feeling especially lazy. I don't think I've Seven creatures been. command them to wander off and destroy in your name. I'm pretty sure I've never felt that lazy. That's that's a next level level of lazy. Some highly advanced hands up and mm -hmm. that's like level three lazy at least. I've never needed more than, well, an ascended lazy. You could also call it lazy level two. Class two earthly laziness. Mm -hmm. What you looking at, Tony? Ah, there's a rock or something. Got it. Just buttons. Got a proper range, safety protocol. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before, but I really enjoy the uh, the Beholder Death animation. God damn it, Wallace. What the hell? Wallace is probably the worst bear you ever summoned or charmed. Completely worthless. And we got this mimic to deal with. Not anymore, you Mimic know. Foolish child. What would a child know about the mechani mechanisms of a crossbow? Just casting the vampire into some spell is so you can. There are many spells that I just end up leaving on the same hotkey as something else I use more often. <laughs> sure is a mimic. Sure is a mimic when we don't have any mana or allies. Yep, and just got time and distance and crossbow. They do entirely too much damage. Extremely dangerous. Huh, I think you lost it. Makes of no concept of object permanence. In yes. a situation like this, worthwhile to switch back to the regular bow just so that you have that faster response. Mm -hmm. So you it's don't have to find right. windows of opportunity. Yeah, so you don't have to commit to it as badly. On the other hand, you might miss more often, as shown here. And you will need to land more hits in order to do it, but you will have the opportunities. There we go. And I'm pretty sure, I'm absolutely sure that the bow technically has higher damage per second than the, the crossbow does. Yes, just at the cost of ammo. Yeah. Which you have, you know, hundreds of, so who cares? Of just that one flavor. Hundreds yeah. more of others. Oh man, I just realized that we're carrying entirely too much, like, arrow. Who needs that much arrow? No one needs that much arrow. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Well, better to have one now. Uh... You know, thinking about it, I gotta wonder if the, uh... 
the hand sign thing is more than just a flavor thing, and it was like a dummied out uh, mini game that you used to have to play to cast. Yeah, if they spells. were ever going to like have gesture based spell casting or something. Yeah, and I bet they took it out because they realized that would be incredibly unfun and terrible. Highly tedious. Yeah. Thanks, we're gonna make us sing songs, little dance. Ooh. Okay, crossbow fast bolt. Is that fire faster or is that a risk? Uh, bolt speed, yes. There oh. is also a crossbow enchantment that makes them have less cooldown and actually animate faster. I'm sure that's easily the best one for the crossbow. Quite likely, yes. Any more holes for these bears to be useless in? Bear, you want an apple? Ah, they're good. Lorena and Elizabeth. Lizzie to her friends. Liz to her enemies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder what you, all these colors are for the quivers at this point. I mean, I'm never going to know, but... There's just a wide variety of sorts of enchantment. Some zap, some burn, some are poisonous. Hello, room of many boxes. Many boxes are liars. Tread look cautious. That is a trustworthy box right there. That one is not. Well, <laughs> tread cautiously. Hickory smoked. Strangely enough, it won't let us fire the spell when we're aiming directly at the box. Bears, come on. Focus. They're fighting in... in, like, in turns, which is better than what Wallace did, but still. There's a very long list of things better than what Wallace did. Yeah. That's... That's most things in general, I want to say. Also important that you remember that you have these fellows. That you will, over time, gain more powerful spells which you could load into them. I wonder if you can load in uh, a summon into them. Don't think you can put summons in them. That'd be awesome. Detonate this and release a bear. Oh yeah. I also don't imagine it would be all that useful since you... Oh, that one got stuck. That's excellent. Well, have fun. It'd also be tricky to get your minions to recognize that there is an enemy to come at. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that worked out That's a decent well. power. Yeah. Strong pet load. Probably still a bit too uh, mana intensive to make it worth it, but it's still something mm -hmm. to think about. If you had a squad of four of those, that would kill pretty much anything in one go. Sadly, you can only keep two of them at a time. I don't hear anything more on in this room anyway, so but, yeah. Yep. Like we're done. Fine. Ah, there we go. That's what you were looking for. A silver to grind up and then I uh, consume. Where's this ask you? Recycle. Sums up another one right in the same spot. Stack them along top of each other. Mm hmm. That's something to say. Uh, 
All right, that bear is a lot smarter than yours. Mm-hmm. It recognizes that it shouldn't walk on those. A bear that understands the stove. Wise bear that understands uh, traps. So a highly agile scorpion. A highly agile bear. Dang. Completely unscathed. <laughs> Not entirely sure which which one that was. I think that might be. I want to say that's Lorena. I don't know. She's dead, is what it was. So let's not worry about it anymore. No sense living in the past. Mm. So we just got Ulysses with us now. You have seven cure po uh, poison potions, you didn't even bother to use it. Oh, that's Well, that's that nasty. escalated. That's unfortunate. Meteor remains a very solid source of damage. The Lysis is pretty smart. I'll, I'll respect that. There's Mitteron. Oh, he's dead, though. Yep. He got in his way. Nasty. You get a lot of casts of Meteor uh, by this point quick. in the game. Very cost effective. It's probably one of your most cost effective spells. Tiberius. Killed it right before it could uh, take any damage from the, the swamp gas. I uh, saved it. From a terrible fate. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't wish swamp on my enemies either. What's that swamp? What has swamp ever done for anyone, right? I think it's just caused nothing but problems. Only good swamp is it really swamp? Mm -hmm. Huh. How did that even. That single mimic killed the two bears that time. It's impressive. Stars aligned. With health to spare, too, dang. Stuff. I hope these two fare better. Yeah, there you go. All of the best to Doug and also Doug. Whoa. It, it's 
it's like Douglas and then Douglas with two S's, but you know, who, who's gonna really call him even that? Ooh. You've achieved the next level of fatal skill. We're only great now? Come on. We just reached greatness. Ah! Oh, you, you're coordinated again. Savor this. <laughs> it's never gonna happen again, I'm sure. Some call Squirrelly colorblind, but the truth is he traded your colors for better ones. He doesn't have a favorite co uh, color. Colors from a higher plane. He has a truce with every color. He cannot afford to favor one more than the other. It's an uneasy truce. After Ferris. Hey, excellent. That's what that's for. It's a tenderizer. Perforator. Oh. They're understood. We made an example. You pretty much pick up Roughly the same amounts of gold throughout the entire game. Like big Found piles. A lot of, of escalation in the amount of individual gold. Yeah, like big piles have always been 100. It's just you're getting more of the big piles now. Yep, you just find more of them, and dungeons get longer. Ah yes. Oh yeah, the excellent sounds. I don't think the dogs are going to survive this. Keep your wits about you, dogs. Ah, they did. They're just too tough to die in one shot. It is never fun to have to shock to stab a dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, they're definitely not going to survive this time. Yeah, it's also part of the behavior of the spell that if you don't get hit directly by it, oh, I have it's not just so bad. It kind of skims on the edges. I am just entirely wrong, I guess. No, like, really, both of you, just wait. Just for like, Doug! Doug, wait here! Okay. Okay, I think he's listening now. God's sake, Doug. It's important. That's what he's here. <laughs> Takes direct contact with the core. Um, oh, okay. This takes a second for it to start up. What could it possibly be worth it here? Oh. Ooh. A hat that we can be even more coordinated with. Greenhorns. Wait. Ah. Huh. I think Both that's a stealth insult. No matter what, you will always be the newest uncle. As the Greenhorn. Uh, 
here we are. Pristine wet cave. Excellent. I haven't had nearly enough wet cave so far. Keeping the pressure on. Yep. The dogs are pretty confident. I can appreciate them. Fine bears. Fine dogs. Or at least that dog is. The one that's actually doing any work. You know, there's frontline dog and there's management dog. Mm -hmm. Strategic dog. It's also, you know, bureaucratic middle management dog. But we don't talk about that dog. We don't bring him along on things. Yeah. That's kind of not his, his job. He does, he does well. He just doesn't do it here. Mm -hmm. It's also kind of a little bit estranged from the rest of the Dugs, so they don't like to hang out with him. This Doug Bear Collective is... it goes pretty deep, alright? That's just what we're going with. Bears maintain very elaborate social structures. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you totally get a stone golem scroll, don't you? I know you do as a as a warrior. Also, these uncles are still just giant fuckers. What the hell? The hazing begins. This has to be a lot easier when you have the uh, the crossbow. Oh, and the crossbow, that, yeah. the fist. When you have any high damage thing that works at range. Yeah, this, this not nearly as dangerous as it is uh, with the Wilt Warrior. Yeah, at this point, as Flex Guard, you're only real range damage solution. Was your primarily your Shuriken, and those don't hit very hard. Yeah. Both dogs just make it through once again. Yeah, it looks like they're the uh, they're not programmed. The golems aren't programmed to deal with your summons at all. And there we are. I'm sure. You... I'm. Hmm. I'm not sure whether... Back in the hole, dogs. Yeah. It is good. Come on. It is pretty nice that they have the same summoning effect for, uh... We'll be making extensive use of Benji here. Benji is a pretty cool guy. Meanwhile... And there's our whatever it is. Sorry. What our sideways lizard onto our staff. Whatever it is, it is firmly attached to the rod. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is firmly sideways. From any angle, it's sideways. I don't, I don't get it. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's weird. Everyone, don't. Just, it's cool. Don't pay attention much to Benji. He's all right. Eyes. Hey, glowing head eyes. and terrifying. He just wants love. Huh? I feel a rising tide of doom in our land. Uh, it's just bitch. Oh, yep, town's still here, there, largely dude. unchanged. You can <laughs> stop in and sort out any supplies you feel you need. Frankly, the X has never had any troubles in the entire history of the town, and so yeah, no matter what happens, X will just carry on. Nine gold for the nearly disintegrated hat. Mm -hmm. Or just like the one strap of leather that's left. Yep. <laughs> Don't even try it. Oh well. It's probably been for the best that you didn't try it. You'd ruin your uh, carefully cultivated. carefully cultivated uh, color scheme here. We have free range fashion sense. Anyway, what do you want? 
Who knows?